Hi, I'm going to show you in this video uh, how I use the uh, pers perspective tool. That's uh, this tool right here. Now, uh, I'm going to create a few uh, shapes on a new layer. Let's add a new layer. And I'm going to use the perspective tool to uh, fit them to the wall here. So I'll just uh, gonna well this that's the perspective tool I have it clicked. So I'm gonna cancel that. So let me just go up here and create some sort of shape like that and put in a gradient like that and now I'm going to select none and I'm going to uh, auto crop this layer okay now I'm going to use the perspective tool I have it clicked so I click on my image on the canvas here and it puts out this grid with these squares four squares on each in each corner now you can see when I move one square the uh, numbers in the uh, transformation matrix change Okay, so now if I click transform, the image, uh, well, the shape has, has, has moved, of course. Now I'm going to undo this, uh, edit, undo perspective. Now I want to uh, fit, I'm going to move this, I want to fit this piece as best I can to this wall here. Uh, there's not much perspective here, but we'll start here and I'll use the perspective tool to drag it up like that and across and up like that. Now you can move the whole piece by clicking on the round circle in the center. You go on the center and hold down the uh, left mouse button if you're using a mouse. I'm using a mouse. And you can move the whole shape around. Now I want it to match this edge here of the uh, roof here so I'll put it say there right there and click uh, transform okay so now it's transformed and as you can see it's jutting out the layer actually extended past the actual layer of the image so I'm going to right click on that and choose a layer to image size now that fits the, the, the entire layer to the to the image now that's that's how you use the perspective tool it's it's pretty simple I mean I can uh, show you again I can edit undo layer size, edit, undo perspective, and click and drag. I can match this part of the roof using the perspective tool. Usually you can, uh, I like to sometimes put out guides. Uh, and You can't put diagonal guides, but 
uh, I use paths sometimes. If you take a path, sort of stretch it out to where you want the uh, perspective to go from, say, there to, let's say, here. I'll fill this space right inside here. Oops. Get rid of that. I'll fill this space with the uh, blue square. And I'll use the uh, guides, I mean uh, paths as a guide. So I'll turn the uh, paths uh, eye on so that it stays visible. And then I'll use the perspective tool. Drag it up. Well, let me try that this way. Drag that up there. Drag that over there. Drag that corner over there. And this corner over here. Now you can zoom in. This is a very large image. Three, like 3,000. Uh, 50 50 percent see if I can get it to fit in there pretty good I think that looks okay so let's go hit transform it'll take a few seconds and there uh, the, the space uh, the shape now fits the uh, space I'll turn off that that's basically it. That's how you use the uh, paths. I mean, the perspective tool. I could use it to I can use the perspective tool to get all kinds of effects. Cancel, edit, undo visible, undo visible, undo undo perspective. Like if say you wanted to make the uh, perspective like it's going away like it's uh, you can do it like this or you could take a guide from here yeah right click on the ruler here pull down a guideline oops and get the perspective tool it should snap to the uh, guide keeping the far edges straight and hit transform and now it looks like sort of a path that uh, is going away that's coming toward us and going you know going away but that's basically how you use the perspective tool and we could just go undo move and undo perspective uh, that should be it it's not too hard to figure out anyway um, just want to uh, open this image and yeah so This is an image I, I made. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.